Hello and welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we're looking at all the new releases and just talking through uh, you can put down in the comments what you think as well just kind of want to get to know all you lot that are out there that are subscribing and talking and stuff like that it'd be nice to kind of broaden the audience with comments down below as well so it's a little bit different today I'm not going to be in front of my table and whatnot I'm just going to do this just on the recorder I'm going to not be as professional I guess today I don't know if you always think I'm as professional anyway but I always try but um, I'm going to be a bit more Steve about it all and um, just kind of sort of talk through it and my personal opinions as well so earlier in this week I thought they were leaked but they're not um, which was the credit line for the Mandalorian um, and these have got like new colour schemes on them and I think they're kind of based on the credit end credit scene where they're done by an artistic kind of person doing some scenes that are during the um, episode now these are going to range from about 22 to 25 pounds um, but there is a Mandalorian which is the heavy Mandalorian sorry and he's about 30 odd pounds you know so as being the larger figure so the first up really is pretty cool it's the Death Trooper but however it is a bit annoying because it's not like a new way to get a Death Trooper because he's a bit brown um, he's got like purple kind of markings and stuff on there um, so it just doesn't really kind of suit um, next up is IG-11 which I thought brilliant it's my ideal I can actually get IG-11 finally but he's a bit rusty looking a bit brown it's not too bad but then you look at these extra colors that are on him and it just looks a bit horrible and as you can see all these come with like a credit chip uh, all different colors so I guess they're all kind of Republic kind of credits and uh, that you get with them to actually build up that collection as well uh, we have the kind of Mandalorian he's all right he's in a bit of a brighter color I suppose doesn't look too bad it kind of suits him unlike Cara Dune uh, which is here she just looks too bright she doesn't look right because the Mandalorian is kind of a you know it's a, kind of a dark dark part of Star Wars it's not bright at all and the heavy Mandalorian is in a very sort of bright blue armor it's very bright looking it just looks almost very plasticky Okay, so first up, off a wave 28, I think this is. Maybe correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we've got the Rebel Trooper that we've kind of known that we're going to be in this wave for a very long time. It's a good figure. He was great in the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. And um, he's out for another re-release. Uh, but first of all, next up is the Incinerator Trooper from The Mandalorian. And it's using this sort of like the new Stormtrooper sculpt. And it's looking pretty epic. Got the backpack, got the paintwork got the strapping over his armor holding on that backpack and that huge flame effect which looks really nice and another one from Mandalorian is the armorer and uh, yeah she's pretty epic looking pretty cool and nicely in the box and um, we've got a side picture of the packaging here just a continuation of which could be the next Mandalorian character it could be another Mandalorian but I'm kind of hoping it's kind of the blue ones that come down and rescue him uh, that we saw in season one and next up is the clone phase trooper uh, phase one sorry uh, it's looking pretty all right pretty cool uh, something about the helmet though in the sort of like side profile shot just looks slightly off um, so I'm not hunched out on this one but it might grow on me like the uh, Camino trooper did so we will see what it's like and also we're getting Luke, Han and Lear same ones that were in the Heroes of Endor pack with the exclusive ones are now in the single carded and they're looking pretty epic all together there um, so we've seen those before and the other one as well is Cad Bane in his single carded release without to do uh, on the side it's just literally just Cad Bane unfortunately so if you can still get that Comic Con one out there whether or not you think the droid is worth £10 I just think it's pretty cool to have him so also with the armor as well we've got a comic con exclusive and it's just literally the same figure and she just has more accessories i guess do i think this is necessary do i think it's cool no i don't i just i can't even see the point in it i mean it comes with a few kind of 
welding accessories. Um, it just doesn't look great at all. I don't think I'd stay. I think it's, it's not even worth it. I'd rather just the single release, to be honest. But um, I guess uh, there's a lot of people out there that likes the Mandalorian. They like this character. Um, so I get it if you, you want it, but to me it's a complete miss. But one of the next characters, which is probably going to retail at thirty pounds, the same as the armorer, is Jar Jar Binks. Finally, we've got Jar Jar Binks in the Black series, and he's just a main character, isn't he? You know, I know a lot of people don't like him, but I think over the years we've kind of just accepted him as one of those weird cousins into a family, you know. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. He's got his spear, he's got his big shield thing, and he's also got that blue bomb kind of club thing that he comes with. And um, yeah, he's actually looking pretty nice and pretty cool, and uh, definitely a must-buy for me. Um, just looking at the side of the box, though, because I'm always interested in the colours and the colour scheme that these new boxes are going for. And um, it's that dark gold colour, which is pretty much the same as the Mandalorian which is a bit odd so um, rather this maybe is a pre-packed kind of colour who knows but it's one to look out for and then after this another £30 figure we got coming out and it's going to be coming out about next April next year and I've already pre-ordered mine on Indie Barn Toys in the UK is Boba Fett Return of the Jedi with his paintwork and everything I did a custom to this last year but it's going to be nice to have a brand new figure um, doesn't look like they've actually got a figure to really show off it looks like it's all kind of computer generated and stuff so hopefully maybe we might get a new sculpt for him maybe slim him down a little bit because he needs it but he comes with his kind of flamethrower we've got a rope kind of accessory with it and also his gun where it gets kind of separated into so we've got a full one and a broken one and um, yeah he's going to retail about 30 pounds it's pretty cool it just seems Hasbro are just kind of thought like, oh my god, Return of the Jedi has a movie. Let's create some characters. So they've just got Boba Fett, Luke, Han and Lear. And I guarantee that they're just really prepping all these Return of the Jedi figures for the 40th anniversary. So when that comes out, they've actually got a whole wave just to bring out and re-release those figures once again. Another character we've got is Dark Ray. And um, all we got for her is the box um, with a light blue outing around for trios and a pre rendered kind of image of her, I guess. The only thing I would say is that I think Dark Grey was a little bit last year. I, no one's been raving on her about uh, any more than anything else or demanding a figure, so I do think this one's a bit strange just having her sort of on her own to be honest but nonetheless it's another figure to add to the shelf and um, we can look forward to her okay so the next kind of line that we got are the exclusives um, which are the holiday troopers which has been kind of rumoured around for about half a year and the first one up is the snow trooper which is a Walmart exclusive and he comes with a penguin porg and a scythe that kind of looks like a repainted version of is it the Crimson Guards that look after Snoke and um, just looking slightly awful next up is the Best Buy Sith Trooper and he has a festive Babu Freak we have a Clone Trooper for GameStop uh, and he just literally comes with another Porg that's dressed as a Penguin and after that we have the Stormtrooper Amazon exclusive which was has a white porg and he has the same kind of scythe that the Snow Trooper comes with and I think the best one out of the lot and I think before you get the most out there is the Range Trooper from Target um, looking like a Santa Claus which comes with a reindeer DO um, so looking pretty cool but I think the only person I know that would actually benefit from this one is probably the Foosh uh, so he can actually give his Gus a kind of a festive outfit, to be honest. Um, my opinion on this wave is I can't see why anyone would have them as an open box collector on the shelf because they're going to be out for so long and then you're going to put them away. They're going to stick out for like a sore thumb. So we're going to be putting them away with your Christmas tree. They just look awful. 
they kind of remind me of like when you get a kid and they have to design a poster for like the NHS or something and they've given some kids a snow trooper kind of to colour in a Sith trooper, a clone trooper and they've picked their sort of favourites to um, be created into a, an action figure and I just think the ranged trooper just looks the best because he's got like um, an actual homage to Christmas rather than just looking green and horrible I, just, I think they just missed an opportunity here. I think they should have just gone for like the Yoda from the Christmas cards uh, or maybe C-3PO from the Christmas cards that they sent out during sort of when those building Star Wars or making Star Wars. Um, I think they would have made a better kind of thing rather than these troopers. But after all that bad news, we're going on to the best. The best of the best, I think, of this, this news at the moment. And it's the new archive line for next year and it looks fantastic and first up is Hoff Hahn so we've got the new face tech application on these and that's what that's all, all about and yeah it's just nice to get that Hoff Hahn and I can actually have a Hoff Hahn in my collection and also after that it's Hoff Luke and obviously we've got the Wampa out this year uh, to coincide with the 40th anniversary and it's just a nice way that we can get this Luke as well so he's got that face tech on there and his face looks absolutely fantastic looking a bit like the X-Wing, no the Snowspeeder one that we got earlier this year. And next up is obviously everyone's fan favourite because he won the basically the archive release which was Cody and now we can actually finish off that clone commander sort of shelf and um, hopefully try and everyone get all up to speed because hopefully everyone's there and we're just waiting for that Cody and all the following releases of any of the clones that are coming um, so he looks great but obviously no face applications and stuff on there it's just literally just just Cody and the fourth one I'm really surprised about which is Fawn um, I think this is the first time that we've actually got a character from the red boxes in the um, in the archive because normally it's the blue um, or as a like Luke and Han there from the characters one but they are generally from the blue and orange lines way back when so the fawn is the first time that we've actually got it in red um, from a red box into a, an archive which I'm really surprised about really because the way that they're going with um, with the boxes we've, we've just got all this new kind of line out they just re-released all the rebels in um, boxes one to six you know now because now we've got Zeb so I'm quite surprised they're not bringing Thrawn out in that kind of line to bring him out in purple and he could be number seven to carry on that line forwards. Um, so it just seems a bit weird that they are releasing sort of kind of newer characters now in then because I literally just thought from now on with the new packaging we would actually eventually get all the characters that have come out just re-released again in a kind of just a sort of a, a nice box order uh, and they will eventually get a new number and fall in line with it, you know. So we have got the rock jump trooper from Rebels to come back into it and and whatnot and carry a fourth. But um, I don't know. Maybe they will go that line. But uh, it just seems weird that they put Fawn on there. But they all look fantastic and uh, great. So for anyone that missed out on him, there he is. And that kind of brings me to an end, really. That is literally all the kind of things on there. There is definitely the good, the bad, and definitely the ugly in here. But um there's something there for everyone I guess but um, you know there is some good news along the way and, um, but Hasbro just you just need to calm it down guys I mean I suffer from growing disease and I've never actually produced this much out in one go I mean this year Hasbro just literally been chucking out chucking out I mean every week I think there's been a new figure announced or a new wave or something that's happening it's just it's a bit overwhelming and um, kind of glad that this year's really coming to an end. So, um, yeah, anyway, comment down below what you're most excited about. You can follow me on Instagram, you can subscribe, and you can like and do whatever, like all those bits as well. So, take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.